Hey everybody, a lot of you have asked about our RV and how I do podcasts on the road. Well, here's the RV. It's a 2012 Mercedes Sprinter chassis that has been turned into a Road Trek e track Class B motorhome. Come on inside. This is inside. I'm at the uh, podcast studio that I have set up at the back of the van, of the coach, the motor coach. And it's a pretty simple studio. Uh, the idea is that I can take it down and hook it up very fast and then I can put all this equipment away as we're traveling down the road. Uh, space is always at a premium in a Class B motor home like this. So let me just show you what I have. It's a pretty simple system uh, aimed to be able to quickly turn around po podcasts but have them sound good, have them have the quality that I can get in my home studio. The heart of my system, of course, is the mixer. This is the Mackie 802 VLZ4. And this one does a really fine job. It uh, has enough for uh, three microphones and, of course, uh, uh, output in and out of my computer. I happen to use uh, a MacBook Pro for all of my editing. And um, I have on it uh, this uh, great little uh, program that uh, many of you I know already have this. This is a Soundbite. It allows you to play carts. These are my produced opens and my uh, transitions. And I can also load up sound bites and clips and play them right from there, just using the computer and running it through the mixer. The mixer outputs directly into the Roland DAT recorder. This uh, digital audio recorder is really does a superb job. This was recommended and I got it through uh, Cliff Ravenscraft at uh, the podcast Answer Man. I have found uh, this to be a delight to use. It's great for field interviews. It's small. I can put it in a pocket or I can carry it around and do field interviews. But I record my show entirely on this first. And then I pop out the, the little card and then I put it in the uh, slot here on the side of my MacBook Pro. And then I use, uh, for editing, I use Adobe's Audition. Uh, this is just a terrific editing program. It does a great job. I uh, do all of my editing, my post editing on that. I can put in special effects and it does uh, a great job. So the software is uh, Adobe Audition and then I really, really like Soundbite. I have uh, three shows I do, so I have a, a rack for each of the shows. And uh, these are the standard, uh, you know, ins and outs, but then I'll have sound clips as I interview people on Skype or testimonials from listeners, and I can pop them up there. And it's much like it was when I was on, working for radio stations uh, early in my career. Uh, I uh, Instead of microphones, uh, I have the Heil PR40s in my studio at home, but the ones that I opted for this little mobile uh, podcasting studio is uh, the Audio Technica BPHS1. BPHS1 from Audio Technica. Now these uh, were recommended by some other podcasters that I have talked to. They're a boom mic. They are the same kind that I used often as a TV reporter. Uh, I do a network report for NBC TV and I've used these uh, covering political conventions and I've used these uh, in sporting events. Uh, they're really a great, uh, they, they filter out a lot of the noise. It does a pretty good job. They're very comfortable to use. So I picked up uh, two sets of these, uh, one for um, an interviewer. If I'm doing an interview with somebody else, they can use that, and then uh, mine as well. So that's the system that I have. It's pretty simple, a MacBook computer. I also have an iPad that I could use as backup, um, but it doesn't have quite the bells and whistles you know, in terms of editing that uh, the MacBook Pro does and the um, 802 VLZ4 mixer from Mackie. If you want to see the whole RV, let me give you a quick tour. This is the cockpits. Uh, there is um, a seat right here, a third seat. There used to be a fourth, but we installed this large storage thing. I keep a lot of my stuff up there. I do a lot of charging with uh, my batteries and my computers. And then we had this. This is um, storage. I keep all of my uh, TV and photo gear in here, and it uh, is able to to really uh, stay out, out of the way and not be uh, knocking around the RV as we're driving. So there's lots of extra storage. It used to be a seat. There's a kitchen. There's a microwave and a sink with running water. This is an inductive stove top right here that um, provides heat, and then 
we have um, a refrigerator right here with a freezer and there's a bathroom in here now uh, I should always be careful about opening bathrooms you know <laughs> you know what you know what my wife is gonna yell at me if I do this but um, there's the bathroom there's a sink running water my toothbrush and there's a toilet in there um, there is also a shower in this bathroom it's a little dark I don't have any lights on in there and then back in here is where I have the podcast studio set up uh, this is a, a sofa during the day uh, with a switch of uh, a flip of a switch it makes into a king-size bed I take this table down here where I have all my gear mounted right now and I'm able to um, then uh, have a king-size bed the back so it's about 24 feet long uh, we really have uh, have enjoyed uh, this we travel all over North America telling stories about interesting people and places and now we can podcast from just about anywhere we go so that is the system uh, I set up a little table here at the back of the RV and uh, I'm able to do um, all my podcasts uh, I do many of my video reports here and of course I can do audio and video editing uh, this is um, a pretty cool little RV. It has a 6,000 watt inverter. It has solar panels up on the top of the roof in which I can uh, always top off the, the house batteries. And I don't really need to be plugged into commercial power with that inverter. I can operate for hours at a time out here on just the battery charge in the RV. So uh, that's it. Time to get podcasting. <laughs> I'm Mike Wendland. Thanks for watching.